we established that now because we are using ANOVA, you will hear me say F computed or F test statistics. That's what we'll be using, F statistic, F statistic. So we're done with Z, we're done with T, and we are on F, which is the ANOVA. And by the way of doing that, we have to find the variation for all the independent groups that we have, okay? Means that we have to know what is from the statement or from the problem that we have. We need to know the mean for the first sample, the mean for the second sample, the mean for the third sample, and the likes. If that is established, we need to define by way of computation what is known as the total sum of squares for all the means of the independent groups. We also have to define what is the sum of square between the means. And we have to know the sum of squares within the variance that we have. So we'll be using what we call SST or SSB. It's just to say that this table here, when you use the computer to compute, the data that you have. There are different ways of uh, establishing what is SB, SSW. Sum of square between mean is the same as sum of square among the variance, sum of square explain or among variation. So here you will see SSA, SS is the same as what? SSB, sum of square between all the independent samples that you have. Then we come to say that SSW is the same as what? SSER, small r here, or SSE. This is also the variation within what the groups. Don't worry about this big formula here. It's just to say that the whole discussion for SSB, SSW can be written as this. Now, we need to define some uh, elements within the formula that you have. So don't bother. K, okay, is simply to say that we are looking at number of populations. So like I said that we have three COVID vaccine that we are going to use. The population is what? K, giving us what? The first COVID test one, Basin one, basin two, basin three. So K will be equal to what? Three, number of independent populations. Then a sample size, as we've been discussing, we need to know the sample size for each of the vaccine that we are going to use. Then X bar is still the what? The mean. But then we have what you call X bar bar. That's called a grand mean. The grand mean is equal to the sum of all the population means divided by the number of population. We will estimate it quickly, don't worry. Then I need to examine how, to, how do I calculate my SSB, that's the sum of square between mean. I'm explaining this because ANOVA is easy, just that the computation will take you uh, you apply a lot of information to compute that. So remember we said SST is equal to SSB plus what? SSW. Now what is SSB? The sum of square between what? The variance. SSB is giving us this guy here. Summation N. N here, we know N already. That's the sample size. And we say that X bar, we know X bar is what? The sample mean. I goes to first population, second population, third population. Then the grand mean is x bar bar. I said the addition of what? x bar 1 plus x bar 2 plus x bar 3 divided by what? k. Here is what? I'll explain it. Don't worry. Then, so that is the whole information here. Simple. Then 
If I find my SSB, I have to also go and find what you call the means of square between MSB. MSB is SSB divided by K minus one. K, I've defined K already, okay? Then if I do that, I have to go and look for SSW. Okay, you, what you have here is the breakdown you have here. So this is for first sample SSB, second sample SSB, and the kth SSB. You add all of them, that will give you the total, that is total SSB. SSW is the same, don't bother about this huge uh, formula. It's just simply to say that you have double summation. X, I, J, they are each element in each what? Sample. If I have vaccine one, vaccine two, vaccine three, X, I, J is the number of what? Elements under each one of this. The first sample, the first person that came, we use two vaccine, three vaccine, four vaccine, one vaccine, five vaccine, six vaccine, two, one, three. These are the XIJ, okay? So under the first population, what are the XIJ? Second population, what are XIJ? Third population, what are XIJ? My mean for V1 is the sum of all these elements divided by what? The number of what? Samples. So two plus three plus four, that gives us nine divided by three, that will give me the sum, the mean for vaccine one. This plus this plus this is 12, divided by also three. This will give you vaccine two. This plus this plus this will give you eight. Mean for vaccine what, three. That is X bar. So you find X bar for each of the independent what, population. Is it okay up to this stage? Okay. ANOVA is the simplest. Okay, well, formula has been drawn. I'm, is that, forget about the formula. I'm trying to give you information so that when the formula will be given to you in the exams, how to understand the formula or the formula is the critical thing here. I don't like formula, formula, but understanding it, then if I find my SSW, Okay, I need to also find what you call the MSW. Remember I said, if you have SSB, you have to find MSB. So if I have SSW, I need to find MSW. And SSW is the same to say that your SSW divided by the big N minus K. Big N here is the total sample size for all the independent samples that you have. K is the number of what population. In summary, this is what the table is saying, okay? Means that to find my F computed, which is this guy, all we are doing is to find F computed. We have to go through this process. First, find SSB. If you find your SSB, my degrees of freedom for SSB is K minus one. And we are saying K is the number of what population. If I find that I'm going to look for my MSB, means of squares between. And that is this guy here divided by the degrees of freedom. That will give me MSB, means of squares between the population. Then I look for SSW. SSW, we've estimated it. That will give us MSW. Then we get MSW. Then we can find the F computed in simple as so. Just know that it's a step by step. Okay. Any question so I can take oh, my time is even up. Betoda. Sir. Uh, when can we meet Monday, the exact time? Yes, please. 7.30 p.m. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, so guys, I'll see you on Monday, 7.30 p.m. 
I need you to go through this because the next class, I have to finish this lecture and introduce you, introduce you to what we call regression and correlation analysis. Okay. Yeah. On that uh, note, of course, yes, my friend. Uh, yes. I don't know whether this particular video of today will be uploaded after the distance.